defensive lineman. It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. To throw on second down, Malone. Over the middle, complete. It's Norton. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. On fourth down, Malone, he finds his man complete. It's Cunningham, and he is going to have the Giants first down as they wind up getting 13 there on fourth down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Gets it to Gordon. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. to throw on second down. Malone. And this one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football. Nearly a fourth pick of the ball game. Over the middle, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. And that's one of those where it feels like backyard football in a sense. You say, forget about the route. Just run to the open spot in the middle of the field, and I'll find you. Good throw, good concentration on the catch, and they pick up the first down. Looking to throw. Malone escaping the pressure right. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. The sack will push him back only a couple yards, but certainly not what they were hoping for on first and goal. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Second and goal from the six this time. Back to throw. Malone. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Third and goal. Trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. Looking to throw. Malone. Steps away to his left. And it's caught. Touchdown from six yards away. And the Giants are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. The quarterback dropped, was in the pocket. He could go through all his reads three or four times. He had all day. Yeah, how about that, being able to go through your progressions like that? You may practice it all the time, but rarely in an NFL game do you get a chance to go, there's one, there's two, there's three, and pick the right guy for the touchdown. to kick the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to 18. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. The kicking team out there for the Giants as they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. 
And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Falcons ready to take over. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 169 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Brett, and every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hadn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Only needing two yards on second down. Here's the option, running right. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle, Curtis. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down, fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And he is going to lose yardage here. Just a one yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. So out now comes the field goal unit for the Falcons. He hit his first, now this from 43. 
And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. And New York set to take the field. This has been frustrating for them to this point. They have not looked the same as they did coming in, riding that impressive six-game win streak. Throwing to start the drive. Malone, he finds his man complete. That's George. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. To throw on second down. Malone, and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. Well, this defense just continuing to do their thing, and now they add on to that lead with another pick six. And how about the way they've played this entire game? Not only have they put their stamp on it, but every time they try and mount an offensive challenge, they find a way to thwart it. And multiple pick sixes? Oh, yeah, they'll enjoy watching this tape after the game. Point after try forthcoming. And that'll increase their lead to 28. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. And New York set to take the field. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Throwing after the interception. Malone. Throwing left side, it's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Back to throw. Malone. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Operating from the gun. Malone, throw left side complete. That's Sims. Now they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber, 
I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years, but here we go. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Boy, 214 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he just continues to pummel this defense. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be given a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Four yards the pick up. First down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Here's a give up the middle. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter, and Charles, I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And, partner, you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball and sometimes even your special teams, and that's been true today. Each side helping guide them to this late lead. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A drive that time of six plays. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off. Atlanta's 11 ready to go and they kick it away. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session. And, my goodness, another interception. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they can run this score up even further as they begin this drive with a first and goal and that huge lead. I can't believe they even let you play. They'll run on first down. It's Curtis. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, 
They certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're gonna cherish. So for Atlanta, the streak lives as they move to 13-0 now on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Giants, it's a tough one to swallow as they drop back to 8-4 and four on the year. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.